Okay, everybody, I went to Savers today. Um, I spent $87.87, which is a, a funny number. I should play that number, huh? And um, I wasn't going... Well, I was going to look for a jewelry jar um, because I was going by to look for getting a new car. And it's right down the street, so I figured I'd go in. And Brian was with me, so I didn't have a lot of time to spend to get things. So... I didn't look up really anything. I just did things quickly. I got this Mr. Christmas. I paid $9.99. I opened it up to make sure everything was in there, and it is, and um, it works. So I plugged it in. They go between $40 and $50. There's some listed right now, and I paid $10. This is Lemax. These are the village pieces to show like a brook running through. See, they can build it. Um, I paid $4.99 for this. They sell at the store for $34.99. I'm going to take that tag off, though, probably. I sold one of these exact same ones for, like, $20 just a couple months ago. So, um, and this is, like, the wrong time of the year. So, hopefully that will turn fast. Toby, oh my, my big tough guy. Excuse me, Mr. Toby. You want to be in the video? Toby. Oh, okay. So, um... I got these two for me just to decorate with, and then when I'm sick of them, I sell them. But this one was $3.99. This one is $6.99. I like them all. Like, I will wash them to get the dust off, but I like them all tarnished, and I don't like them shiny. Some people like them all shined up. I like them all distressed. So I'll use the decorator on the house. Okay, last but not least, there was a jewelry job, but it was all broken stuff. It was $34.99. And I wasn't going to get it. And then there was a few that had bracelets in it. Those were $5.99. I didn't want it though. So I said, oh, let me look at the brooches and earrings and that sort of thing. Like I said before, Brian was with me. So I didn't really get a chance to look up a lot of stuff. So when I saw all these, they all look the same. They're almost like an antique gold tone, brassy looking. And they look new and they were all in really good shape. Oops, sorry. Um, they were $2.99. I tried to look them up. I couldn't really find anything there, but I just took a chance because, you know, what the heck, this one was $3.99. But in my research, I did find this one. Someone had it listed for $20. It hasn't sold yet. But in my research on a lot of these, this one says Deerfield, Massachusetts. It seems like the, they're um, museum pieces. So I'm thinking, like, museum gift shops, they must do um, pins or brooches, at the, I don't know, at the end. I'm not really sure. So um, that's what it looked like to me because they say museum pieces. So um, this one says Shelbourne Museum. So Shelbourne Museum, it says on the back of this one. So I don't know if this is replica of things that are in that museum and they made it into pins as a, you know, memento. I don't know. Um, I couldn't find them all. I didn't look them all up. Some of them have just uh, letters. Let's see. This one, oh, this is this is the Guggenheim. This has the Guggenheim. Looks like some lady helping like a soldier or something. Uh, but some of them just have. Oops, this one didn't have any. That one didn't have any letters. This one says uh, North Carolina or Charleston, South Carolina. I forget what it said on the back. It's so hard to see with this paper. But that was a museum as well, so I don't know if it's based on, like, the area. But I'm going to list them for $20, and hopefully I at least get $10 a piece. Uh, I bought them all. Uh, let's see, this. there's only two that I bought. I, I paid too much for these, $5 for these cat earrings. They're on eBay everywhere, and they're cheaper. They still heavy duty. Some, some of them said Avon, not on this, but on the uh, listing. So they... They're not mocked Avon, so I don't know if someone just guessed that they were Avon. They feel kind of like that quality. They're, they're not, like, cheapy. So, um, but they were going for cheap. But I'm going to have to list it high and just sit on it because I paid $4.99 for it. Same thing with this cow. This has no mocking, but I couldn't leave this little guy. Couldn't leave him behind. How can you not? How can you leave that? Look at how cute that is. And I paid $3.99. So I'll, I'll list it and sit on it, and you never know. Um, this is a 1928 necklace. I paid $2.99. It's pretty. So, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll list these. I'm going to start listing them tonight. I'm trying to get my, um, my hoard down. I shouldn't have even bought anything, but jewelry fits in a small little tub. And then these two I'm going to keep and these two I'm going to hopefully sell. So, all right, this is just a quick haul. Um, I'm only like five minutes in and that's about all I'm up to. I do have a 20% off for next time when I go or whatever. One reward. I think it's 20% off. So next time I go, I'll I'll get a uh, a 20% if I go again soon. But I was kind of disappointed. I did want a jewelry jar to you know to open it, but since I didn't, I just figured I'd get some of these, and they look like in really good shape. So I'm hoping to get ten dollars a piece. I'm gonna put them higher, and some of them might get a little higher, some might get a little lower. But I'm I'm aiming for like ten dollars a piece. So you know, either this will be my pay for this and those will be my profit or this will pay for the for the uh, bill and these will be my profit so however you want to look at it and once I make enough to pay the bill I don't really care I mean I do but I consider it my bonus money so that it means it once I bring it down to the basement that's my profit that's my profit basement I'll leave it up here until I make enough money that I paid that bill off most likely mo most of the time Okay, um, except for some retail arbitrage, I don't, but that's another story. All right, well, this is, now it's 6.38. I don't even know. I'm talking, I'm rambling. All right, um, see you at the next all. Bye.